right now are going to have give us his presentation on the Near Center. And I didn't really mention, but we're kind of starting out with two of the um, just university centers um, with the Bureau and the Near Center that you're going to hear about. And then um, we'll move more into the direction of overall UNL support. Thank you. My name is Tim Gassel. I'm actually a grad student over in the Educational Psychology Department in uh, GQPM. Uh, GQPM is Qualitative, Quantitative, and Psychometric Methods. Uh, most of our staff at the Near Center are graduate students. We have a good faculty advisor, but most of our students are in the process of learning. So. Near Center, Nebraska Evaluation Research Center. Put up our website address. You'll see this again later. But purpose of the Near Center to provide people with Help you become independent researchers, help you implement proper research methodologies, measurement tools, and statistical analysis. Some of the quantitative services that we do provide, we help you set up data files. We don't actually do any kind of data input, but we can actually help you set up your files so it'll be easier for you to read later on or easier for a statistician to actually look at it and understand what's going on there. We also do instrument development. Um, we do a lot of measurement and assessment. If you're trying to create your own instrument, we can help you along with that process. What kind of factor analysis you need to run, what kind of reliability analysis you need to run. We run the confirmatory, exploratory, factor analysis. We can help you with that. Uh, we can help you with sampling procedures. What I need to be careful with, what's going to give me the best random sample. If I can't get a random sample, what kind of things I can work with. From there. So we can advise you on that. We can also do some sample size and power analysis if you want. Um, I know they do a lot of that here at SSP. We can do that as well. Um, we can also help you with trying to find out what's the best analysis procedure for me. Here's my here are my questions. How can I answer them? We can help you with that. So it's more of a design phase. Um, we can also ask after we do our analysis, help you interpret your output. So a lot of what we do, and as far as quantitative, is you come in maybe early on, help me design it. How do I collect my data? Then you come see us again after you collected your data, and we can help you analyze it and help you interpret that. Some of the qualitative mixed methods we provide. How to set up data files for analysis by hand, also using software. We'll talk about what kind of software we use later on, but uh, Vicki Plano Clark is a faculty member of the Office of Qualitative Mixed Methods. She is our uh, qualitative mixed method consultant. She actually uses Ma uh, Max QDA. I think last year we wanted to show the Atlas TI. So we do have a variety of software. We can also help you set up protocol development for observations and interviews. What kind of things you need to worry about there? So, research design that's going to match the qualitative and mixed methods question you have. You know, we're looking at more of a grounded theory, we're looking at phenomenology. Also, there's a wide range of mixed methods that you need to worry about. What's going to be most appropriate for the questions that you have? We can help you with that. Um, analysis procedures, we can help you with coding themes, uh, linking quantitative and qualitative. We do set up occasionally where we have two consultants, qualitative and quantitative, working together. You are looking at more of the expert research so, Again, we're more of a supportive role. Unlike it's, it sounds like uh, the Bureau is more of a really hands on. We kind of let you show you, we'll put you in the right direction. You kind of work a little bit yourself and you come to us when you need to. So. Again, the software we use quantitatively, we use S uh, SPSS just because that's pretty much taught in every class. We also use SAS, you'll see that more in your statistical classes. And we also use M plus, so we do utilize those. We can, I know we do have worked with Bylog, has been used before, but these are the three main ones we work with. So, qualitative software, Atlas TI, I think Rod showed last year, and I think this year he does uh, workshops on that as well. And we are trying to get Vicky to do Max QDA. So, she, we do have that software available in our center. So, it's not a great for that We do have that available. That is a nice thing. Um, some words of caution, since most of the clients that we do receive are graduate students or research or faculty trying to do research on their own, um, things that we really need to caution about is the researcher, whether it be the faculty or the student, they need to be able to defend analysis for themselves to understand why they did it. Uh, the phrase, the near, center, the, near, the near center told me to do it, is not really a good defense. So. We won't attend any orals or anything like that. So we have a, it does look like we have a lot of faculty members in here, 
and it was good for me to kind of talk to you. Maybe you can let your students know that we are available. We um, we'll talk about some fees here a little bit because I know the question came in. But we won't come, you can't use this for references. We won't come to your roles, but we'll provide you with a lot of references. We can point you in the right direction. Again, that's the biggest thing we do, point you in the right direction. We can do what we do. If we can't do any more, we'll show you where to go. Services we don't provide, we're not going to give you tutoring or instruction. So we're not going to sit down one-on-one -on -one and provide you with SPSS instruction. We are trying to get it set up where we do some workshops with a larger group. We're not going to tutor your own basic stats. We're kind of thinking you have that knowledge when you come in to see some of at least the basics. Proofreading manuscripts, we've had people come in and just send us their dissertation and go, it doesn't look good. That's not really what we do. If you want to come talk to us about it, that'd be okay. Tell us what you did. And then, uh, we're not going to prove it for you. Data entry transcription, we don't really do that. But again, we can point you to the right direction. So it sounds like the Bureau would be really good for that. We don't really do any research question formulation. That's kind of what you are there for. Yeah, you ask the question, we can show you how you can probably answer it. So we don't do any survey item writing. We can tell you whether or not it would be a good item, statistically speaking, but we don't do the writing and stuff. That's entirely true. So again, I'm of a support. So we do not help on class assignments or projects. We have to tell us these times we don't like the so It is for just dissertation, general research, or we also do some possible supportive roles and grants. Fees, it's pretty much free to anybody who's in CHS. If you're part of college education, human size, it's free. You get one hour a week free. Um, if you're not part of the College of Education Human Science, but you are with UNL, it's twenty dollars an hour. And if you're not affiliated with UNL, it's actually forty dollars an hour. That's actually a pretty good deal. I was online the other day and uh, UC Riverside charges eighty dollars an hour for their students. So, <coughs> pretty good deal. You do get the first hour free, so you can actually just come talk to us. That won't cost you anything. So it might be a good idea, I mean, especially if you're a design phase. Come talk to us. Maybe it helps them out. Helps them out. Because remember, they, they said, kind of plan ahead. Look at those bumps. Maybe we can have to do that. So. Consultation time frame. Usually we like to do one hour blocks. Remember, all of our, con all of our consultants are students. So they do have their classes, and they have to have their dissertations and thesis also. So. We usually do one hour at a time, one hour a week, so you can't just come in and grab four hours. So, but this includes anything from uploading the data, running or debugging, so cleaning my data. It can also just be any kind of phone consultations. Now, phone consultations, this is actually a unique feature we implemented last year. Is anybody familiar with the Breeze meeting, or, or used to be Breeze meeting, now it's Adobe? Okay, we have started using that, so we have clients who call in. I think the farthest way I had so far was Hawaii. Somebody calling from Hawaii, we're actually able to look at the computer and we can look at the analysis right there. Instead of trying to tell them, okay, look at the top left of the page underneath the suit. It's a lot easier when they see it. So we had to implement that. It seems to be going really well. Again, the community clients, again, same thing, one hour a week. But we can either talk on the phone or use the trees meeting. So it's really, really nice. There's no limits on the number of projects you can have, though. So when I say this one hour a week, it's one hour a week per project. We're going to make several projects. We have three projects, maybe three hours. But one hour a week per project. Okay. That's pretty much how we interview the system is other projects. Okay. Now, we don't really keep a uh, 9 to 5 schedule, but we do are open five days a week. And if you actually go over to our near center, which is over in Teachers College Hall, second floor, 248, it's really kind of off in the corner. But once you find it, we'll have a big board out there with all our schedules on it. If you don't really find a time that's available for you, talk to some of the consultants and maybe they can work something out with you. Don't be afraid of it. We're pretty flexible. So we'll talk to them first before you try to sign up. How do you schedule? You can either call the phone number, you can either just walk over there and sign up on the board, or you can actually just email us. So you go to the website, you'll see our email address all there. We'll see who the quantitative and who the qualitative consultants are. And actually, we're working with uh, Steve Panarelli right now. We're trying to get an online calendar system so you don't even have to call or come see us anymore. Just go online and you can see right there what's available. So, and that'll tie directly. It's supposed to save a lot of time. Right? We're trying to make that available right now. Hopefully, I keep saying this, but keep pushing it back. Hopefully, in the next couple of weeks. So. I've been working on it for about a year. 
Um, so basic things you need to think about before you come see us. Again, we work with design phase. So maybe come up with some of your research questions. Know what your IDs, know what your BDs are. Um, if you've already got to the point where you know, you know what you're doing, know what your research questions are, maybe you have an instrument you want to use. Bring a copy of that. And if you have collected your data, maybe you're at the point you've already collected, just send it to us. Okay. Best thing to do, I tell everybody, email us. You come and set up an appointment, don't just don't come in cold. You try to tell us everything at that first appointment because we'll just waste the entire hour just talking about that. Send us an email. Tell us what you're doing. Send us copies of the instruments. Here's my questions, here's the data. Have maybe even the code sheet for your data. Maybe we can have some stuff done before you even get there. I've had that a couple times where if their email is detailed enough, I can pretty much have all this all done before we walk in and we walk in. We've done in half an hour and they're all their analysis done. So the key points for us, we can help. We're supportive. If you need some help do this analysis, come talk to us, we'll help you out. If you need some help with the design, come talk to us, we can help you out. Okay, because we do do the qualitative and the quantitative. Qualitative is kind of nice because it's only been there for now. This is the second year doing it, so hopefully we'll expand more than that. And Sign up for an appointment. Come see us. Okay. We're here for you. And we're trying to learn. If we don't know what, if we don't know the analysis you need to do, we have to learn it. Because, like I said, we're students as well. So. Any questions? That's good. Yes, ma'am. On your cost, is that phone, phone or face to face same price? Yes. Yes, yes. Phone and face to face. Uh, <clears throat> If we use a different program, so multi-level modeling, if we use like HLM and you're using M plus, mm -hmm. do you have do you give us access to the software if we need to like, um, follow up on it? I, I do know I do know places that have the software, so we'd be able to access it somewhere. Okay. I know uh, pointing back here, I know they're he's telling me that they do have, we have access to so. computers right here. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I, have, I, I do know a couple people that have worked with it. Like I said, if we don't know how to do it, we'll sure learn it. We'll try to learn it because we need to learn it as well. That's what we're going for. That's our assistance with how to start. Trying to provide a service for the so. Any other questions? Yeah. Right. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you.